the historic invasion of Bunker Hill and the battle. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Don't let the name fool you. This game also has land battles, cavalry battles, and much more. Though, of course, taking place near the seas, many battles did if they involved ships. Of course. Good to see you all back for this game. We are going to defend as the Americans at the Battle of Bunker Hill in 1775. And uh, we did this before, and I thought it was worth coming back to. Just like Men of War Assault Squad has many good defensive missions, this is one that I wanted to check out again because the game is now fully released, or at least according to the uh, devs page on Steam that they've finally had a full release with much more content including many different nations to play as, different campaigns, and more. So, in order to support the channel, and of course, to do your part for Raptoria, make sure you subscribe. 75% of people who are watching are not subbed. One in, one in four only subscribes? My goodness. Well, make sure you go ahead and join us as we rock it towards the 1 million subs, and jump on the Discord for giveaways and more. Thanks for smashing like, and of course, becoming members down below. Let's take a look here at the campaign that's uh, involved with this game. We have a campaign for the British, the Americans, and I believe an anti-piracy campaign too. So there's three different uh, things to do there. In addition to tons of different already custom pre-made battles, which are quite cool. And of course the Bunker Hill battle that we'll do today. Uh, of course there is also other nations to play as. So under custom battles we can play as the British, the Americans, the French, the Spanish, the Dutch, and the Danish. Amazing. Where's Portugal? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so there's plenty of land and naval battles. Pretty cool stuff here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start our uh, campaign, I guess the battle, as the Americans, under the Battle of Bunker Hill. I'll let the music play out, and let the battle begin. You guys are awesome. Again, thank you very much for all the support, and we'll see you on the front lines. America versus England, 17th of June, 1775. On the 17th of June, 2,200 British troops commanded by Major General William Howe and Brigadier General Robert Pigot landed on the Charleston Peninsula near Boston and marched to Breed's Hill, where the Patriots waited until they could see the whites of the Redcoats' eyes. Destiny brought us to this hill, and we have fortified it to defend our rights to be free of the threaded British Empire. To our left, men br hastily erected wooden barricades. More patriots are approaching to join us in battle. Quick march them into line the moment they come into sight. The British are bombing Charleston mercilessly from Boston, setting the town on fire. British regulars have been, begun landing at this position and are marching on us. We are low on numbers and supplies, facing a stronger army and navy, <laughs> the strongest army and navy in the world. Wow. Nevertheless, we are determined men and our morale is high. We stand for liberty. Hold your fire. Wait until you see the whites of their eyes. Then fire at will. All right, we begin. The British, of course, are firing. We have ourselves the HMS Somerset, the Gatton, the Lively, and the Nassau. And on the left, we have the Falcon and the Glasgow sailing towards the uh, bottom section down here. And those Patriots are arriving. Where are they at? They should be around here somewhere. Ah, there's our troops now on the tops of the hills. All right. Quick march them into line. All right, we'll send our troops up to the intersection. We'll try to hold the left flank and the top of the hill against relentless British attacks. But of course, the strongest army and navy in the world is going to be hammering us with several, many, many guns. All right, let's get the cannons into position. Get these troops here. We'll spread some of our groups out a little bit. Wait for the enemy in bombardment. The left side's going to be attacked. The Falcon already opening fire on American troops. The colonists there holding. Good. All right, we're going to take two regiments here. And another regiment here at the intersection to ambush the British as they come. Fourth Grenadiers, artillery are spotted. Fifth footmen. And more artillery. The 43rd also spotted, making their way towards the hill. They're waiting for the bombardment to complete. Artillery's moving into position. Okay. Now we do 
the waiting game. Let's see what else we have coming in from the rear. We have Freeman here. Morgan Freeman. Oh man, this music though. Hold the line, boys. Get into position now. The British should be arriving as soon as these troops are in place to relieve the 3rd, 13th, and the 3rd here. They'll be able to break through. They're very highly trained. Speaking of train, we should have supplies coming at some point. Now we'll have to bring to the artillery. Alright. They're getting ready to engage. Fourth Grenadiers moving to the right flank. Battle is about to take place on the top of the hill. Stand this way, boys. Ooh, direct hit on some of our infantry. Steady, boys. Steady. All right, the artillery from the hill firing down on the 4th Grenadiers. Get them in the flank. Beautiful. And artillery coming down on those grenadiers. Beautiful. They outnumber us. Plug the holes. The Falcon can no longer fire. Neither will the Glasgow, as that is also out of range, but also too close with British troops. Cannons are doing a great job on the hill. Hammering that British position. Officer Cadet Thomas Knowlton is killed. Okay. Tight formation, boys. Stack up together now. Damn. Those troops are retreating. Fourth Grenadiers are falling back. And they've been routed. All right, we're going to close in on the fourth foot. Counter artillery coming in. Beautiful. Nice hits on the Grenadiers, boys. Hit him one more time. British main attack has begun on the hill. And there goes the retreat. Excellent. We anticipated that. Fill the gaps. Tighten up those defenses. Move in on the fourth foot. There's the supply wagon coming in from the rear. I don't think that uh, enemy ship will fire at them. The troops are exhausted. But now the battle has ended. At least for that section. All right, let's clear out the fourth foot again and get him in the flank. We've got him in a nice 90 degree uh, angle of fire. We'll have the Freeman defend the artillery. There we go, one at a time now. No attacks on the right side from Charleston. No landings from Boston. Or the Cerberus. Or the Symmetry. We are completely surrounded, boys. Those troops rest a bit. Okay, push forward. Relieve those troops. Get them, boys. 
I think this is the 24th uh, Massachusetts right Regiment. Not sure what that stands for. Perhaps this is Connecticut. New Hampshire. These troops are exhausted as well, but they are kicking ass. The British aren't even paying attention to them. Fourth foot coming in, fall back. Well, the 25th Regiment move up in a moment. They are going to break through. There's over almost 400 men there pushing up the hill. Get ready to hold the top of the hill. Continue the defense of that artillery. All right, pull back. Get a lot of ammo problems now. Oh boy, that's a lot of troops breaking through. Here it comes. Okay, everything's holding nicely. Okay, that'll be our last line of defense back there. Wait until they're rearmed. Alright, the left flank's going to have to hold on its own. 
We're gonna have to go double quick, I believe. Let's try to get up the hill with the troops then. I was gonna try to take the road. These guys should be able to remain uh, eliminate the remaining troops. Forward! Okay, let's switch out with the British troops there. Nice work with the cannons. 107 on the right flank. Tight formation. 63rd Grenadiers are going to go for a push on the far right. Alright, second cannon having supply problems. Pull back. All of our cannons are having problems now. Here come the supplies. I wonder if they're actually automatically going to take the roads. We need to wait for that supply train to get through.
Sword, the 290 men we've been holding in reserve. Oh, this is going to create crossfire. Oops. That's yeah, probably fine. Bullets only hit those who <laughs> believe in occupation. Those who are not patriots. We got those British pushed all the way to the sea. Hold that artillery. Step the 59th foot. Spread those cannons out a bit. for that group. Let's go in for melee combat. Continue to advance. The what? Our own cannons firing into the ground. I thought the AI would be smarter than taking shots like that. Some breakthrough here, but they're not taking this position like they should. The British not taking the position. Oh, look at that. This cannon's just hitting the dirt. Charge. My wagon's getting out of there. Well, the British seem to have gone down here, but they're not actually engaging the army, which is the way to win. Take those positions back. Whoa. We got infantry going all down the hill. If we can get these groups off of our back, we can go for their cannons next. I'm not entirely sure how to charge the enemy and get them out with melee. We outnumber them, so we should win that battle. But the small numbers of British troops will be easier to deal with. The only problem is they're more skilled than us, so we need more troops to deal with them. We'll see if we get those cannons, cannons replenished. Group here without ammo. Ah, so we have two positions to hold here. We need the hill back. So time for a full-scale attack. That flag. We only need to hold one of two. If they have the hill, they still don't have the crossroads and they won't be able to advance. The crews are devastated, but the cannons are intact. We can recapture those. Bring those supply wagons up. British coming in for a flank attack from behind. And I guess having second thoughts about that. They were charging and then they stopped to fire. It doesn't look like they were lined up to do so.
Cannons are still devastating those grenadiers. There we go. Take that group there. Head for the flag. Devastate that infantry. Watch for the cannons and take the top of the hill. This intersection's still a damn problem since British are still coming in, but they're not they're not very large groups. Actually we need all, all these groups to retreat. There we go. Should be able to resupply those cannons. I think there might be a way to recapture those if the crews have been killed or whatnot. Otherwise, it would be a huge waste of equipment to not be able to reclaim it. Hmm, the British have taken the crossroads, too. Oh, because we're moving out for ammo. But we should have it back in our control. There it goes. Hill is now under, under our control. We'll retake the uh, flank, too. The British had it briefly as we're switching out reinforcements. section again. Supply train did arrive. And we even took some prisoners, I guess. Alright. How do we get those cannons going again? I'd like to reactivate those. Maybe we can't in this case, but obviously the uh, weapon is still intact, so we can still recruit that. We'd have to get somebody with a little bit of training. Nobody can just pick that up and start firing, but if this were an actual battle, we got the situation. We got it. We got it.
Don't worry, Abraham Lincoln. We got this. Don't you worry now. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Colonel... Colonel Brigadier General Abraham Lincoln. Ah, uh, yes. He served well in this battle. Until he got shot at the uh, Chevrolet Theater in 1975. Just 200 years later. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got British troops coming again from behind. We're going to get this foot infantry out of the way. And we can actually capture those cannons and crew them. I'm thinking of it as if it were like uh, an actual war then. Like if we were able to capture that equipment and use it against the British, that'd be quite devastating as a loss to them for the distance they had to travel to bring it here. Any other reinforcements? Nope. All right, let's continue to push the attack on the hill. Over here. And over here. Damn. Okay, let's search for any sort of survivors. Did we eliminate all the British forces? A lot of them must have run to uh, Charleston. If they've secured that, they may have taken the uh, docks. Looks like they brought a lot of boats, too. What the hell? Is that one of our troops down there? That looks like a... One of our flags. That's interesting. Somebody could have routed all the way down there. Alright, let's break out in all directions and make sure we check for any stragglers. Alright, hit those cannons, boys. We're going to return the favor to the British. Looks like their ships are on hold fire as well. Sounded like cannon fire a minute ago. Oh yeah, there they go. They're not on hold fire. <laughs> They're going to defend their cannons. The lively is getting lively. We got plenty of ammo then. Make sure we capture those cannons. Get those cannons, boys. I want those for George Washington. Beautiful. Man, I love this battle. It's very interesting to see it play out like that. I believe there's also some mods for this in uh, Men of War Assault Squad as well called... Um, oh, I forget what it's called. Uh, 
Born in the Fire, I think is the name of the mod. Which uh, takes place during pretty much everything like pre-World War I. So between like the uh, Revolutionary War in the United States all the way to like 1900. Ooh. Cannon got like a point blank shot off and the boys are running. Get back in there, boys. You can take that cannon. I want that artillery. Damn right. Beautiful. Three cannons remain, it seems. There's got to be some other British stragglers out here somewhere. We'll find them. And we'll turn American. We're going to convert them to Hot Pockets, Top Ramen, Ravioli, Diesel Trucks, and Freedom. You boys feeling free yet? Okay. They're running. Yeah, let's take that hill there. Damn, imagine fighting the battle from the British side. It'd be interesting to try to fight from their side. They had a hell of a force. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for yet another episode on this one. This is just the coolest battle to me, the uh, the whole defense and the uh, Revolutionary War. All very interesting stuff. Make sure you check it out on Steam. This game, quite good, I would say. And uh, we'll have to see some more of the naval combat. If you want to see more of that, too, I'll come on back and, and do a bit of that. I think it's quite interesting to do. And, of course, uh, there are some campaigns for the British that allow you to be on the opposite side where you launch naval landings and uh, bring in troops and have combat out in a harbor then once you uh, win the harbor, then the invasion begins. All sorts of different stuff here. But quite cool that it's not just naval ships. It's also very detailed uh, infantry combat outside of that, supported by ships. Very cool. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for the support. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and a good night, everyone. Take care.